Hey guys, MattBoy115 here. And uh, I got a new screen recording program and I decided to show it off <coughs> by, uh, by making another sprite comic video. This is showing you how to do some of the tricks that I do in my sprite comics that uh, <coughs> that are uh, that I didn't show you in the last two video three videos. Some of the things like like this. like this so uh, so that you can see your characters in the, in a dark place but they're not dark and things like this scan lines and banners flash things like this and my new way of making text bubbles as you can see right here I make <coughs> I make my text bubbles differently now and I have shiny text on my on my uh, page numbers adding things like this this may take more than one video I don't know. And this is definitely my favorite one for all its effects. It's awesome. So that's what I'm going to do. Oops. So I'm going to open up GIMP. I've already opened it once, so it shouldn't take that long. But then again, the new program is slowing it down. Okay. So we're going to open up a new one and first I'm going to show you how to do the the uh, darkened edges but not the middle so that you can so that you can see what your characters are doing in a dark place you're going to do a gradient and you're going to select foreground to transparent go linear to radial and as you can see when you do that it just makes a dark circle with with transparent edges that's not what you want so what you want to do is go reverse and now it does the opposite and if you don't want it like that or you can turn the opacity down See, so uh, that's one thing you can do to enhance the goodness of your comics. Also, shiny text. It's just kind of cool to be able to do this. Uh, we'll say MattBoy115. I'll do it in sans bold because it looks better in a bold text. Once you've got your text out, written and everything, go to the Layers tab and go to Alpha to Selection. You've got your text selected. Go to Select, Grow, and I like to go either two or three, but mostly two. See, I just grew my selection so it's offsetted a little bit. so that you can start a new layer up above the text layer and fill it with white or whatever color 
and make it go below the text layer. You can't see it, but there's a layer of white underneath this text layer. Now start another new layer up above the text layer and go select, grow, about four. And uh, make it go like white and gray because you're going to do a gradient. Make sure that this is foreground to background instead of foreground to transparent and that it's linear. And you should have done something like that, but turn the opacity back up. There. Now make it go lower and lower again. There. Now you've got uh, an outline around your text that looks kind of cool. I turned the background off because you can see it better. Merge all the layers down except the background layer. And now alpha to selection again but you'll want to deselect half of your your text so go to subtract from the current selection and unselect half of your text by doing that now go back to your gradients and go to foregrounded transparent and make sure that the the primary color is white and go down and whoops and now that you've unselected you should have some shiny looking text how about that huh I'll explain some more in the next video So if you like this video, this is MattBoy115. I like I'd like to, for you to make some comments, leave some comments. I like comments. I love comments. If you have a video response and the means to do so, please do so. And I am MattBoy115. I am signing off.